Hello and welcome to another one of Moore's Chemistry Revision videos. Uh, today we're looking at balancing equations and we've got a guest lecturer in with us today. We've got the mighty Mr. Lysit, uh, all the way from Science 12. Uh, so we're going to look at a nice easy one today. Uh, this is a topic that pupils often struggle with. Uh, and the reason why equations need to be balanced is because of the first law of thermodynamics, which says that Energy and matter cannot be created or destroyed, it merely changes from one form to another. And that basically means what you start with, so in other words what we have on the left hand side, you must have the same amount of matter on the right hand side. So the first step that you do when you balance an equation, you need to keep a record of how many of each type of atom you've got on each side of the equation. So on this side we've got one magnesium, okay, and it's one magnesium because if there's no number written there, it means it's a number one. Okay, so we've got one magnesium atom. We've also got one hydrogen atom. And we've also got one chlorine atom. And Mr. Lysett's gonna do the same on the other side. Right, so on this side of the equation then, um, we've, again, no number off the magnesium, so there's just one of those. <coughs> Uh, hydrogen, you can see there's a number two after that, so that means we've got two of those. And chlorine, again, a little number two after that, so that means we've got two of those as well. Okay. So, if we're looking at each side now, okay, easy one to see. Uh, we've only got one hydrogen atom, okay, where we've got two on the right-hand side. And we've also only got one chloride atom, where we have two on the right hand side. So how do we fix this? Well actually they could both be fixed in one step. Uh, if we want to get hydrogen to equal two, remember we can't change little numbers. So I can't put a little two there, that would be a different substance, so I can't do that. The only thing I can change is a big number in front of it, okay? So there's a one there at the moment, so the next logical one to try would be a two. So if I put a two there, uh, now what all we need to do is update our list. So now we've got two hydrogens, so we can make that a two. And we've also got two chloride atoms, okay, because there's a two there. Remember, a big, big number in front of a compound is for all the atoms, okay. So now this has gone to two. And if we look, that equation is now balanced. Hope you found that video helpful. Thanks.